Hey guys, it's Mr. Wolfie, Jack, your boy back once again, and it's that time where we do our goals for 2024. We're going to quickly look back over 2023, see what we achieved, see what we didn't, and use that moving forward in order to have a more productive 2024. Now, as always, we want to try and set goals that are reasonable. We want to set goals that actually have deadlines, which is something I'm not always good at doing or haven't been in the past. This time we're going to improve it. But in order to save as much time as possible, we're going to dive right in and get started immediately. So first of all, contact lenses. I'm not wearing them right now, but I did actually go and get contact lenses, which is something I've been meaning to do for the last two or three years. I finally did it late December. Great, excellent. Twitch followers, uh, a goal of 3,500. We didn't actually achieve this. I'm going to go into more details about this later on. But in January, we didn't have internet, so we lost a lot of days and a lot of time streaming. And then I also took time off in November, October, November, to make YouTube videos and also just take a break, which is absolutely fine. But we didn't actually achieve a lot of Twitch followers. And again, we'll get into more of that later. 300 Instagram followers, we didn't hit this either. I think I have 150 Instagram followers, something I wanted to try and pursue, but I made very little efforts for. My socials are always terrible. And although I do set my, myself goals, I don't do a very good job of pursuing and improving. So Instagram, we didn't hit. Luckily, however, on a more positive note, YouTube, we did actually achieve. We're up to 11,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, which is cool. So we achieved that. Also, buy and upgrade a webcam. We did actually achieve this as well. It's not installed and it's not turned on. It's actually in the box, but I bought a new webcam and I bought a new green screen. And we'll talk a bit more about setting that stuff up later. Get the new internet resolved. Again, this was an issue in January. Luckily, this resolved itself. It took a bit of a while. And uh, it was a ball ache at the time, but it did, it did fix itself eventually. Finish three new YouTube projects before February. Video one is in production. We did actually achieve this. This was our Digimon World Next Order guides for the re-release of Next Order on the Switch and PC. We made three videos at first, which did exceptionally well on the channel and have continued to grow and flourish since. We then went on to make a couple of extra videos because the, those ones did well. And that was really nice to see. So I'm glad we got that done. Finish Trails of Cold Steel on YouTube. This is Trails of Cold Steel 2. We have our current Let's Play. And although I did try and finish it, we didn't achieve this. I'm right at the end of the game. It's a long JRPG. I think we've got over 150 hours in that playthrough. And uh, we're right about to fight the final boss. But we didn't actually get it done. Uh, Persona 5 Royal, on the other hand, we did achieve right at the end of December, which was super nice. So shout out to all the homies that were there for that. Change up stream routine, four days streaming, two days making content, specifically on YouTube and TikTok with at least one day off. Trial until February to see. Now I actually did do this, which I'm quite pleased about. Uh, mostly from March through to about July, I posted a short and a TikTok every single day for about three months for a total of 150 days. So our content creation, although I had a lot of learning to do, did actually kind of pay off, which was nice. And I'm going to show you more logistical stuff about this. I'm going to show you graphs and data later if you are interested in that kind of nonsense. But for the most part, we did trial this. And for the most part, it was a success. Now, in reality, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be, or at least as I'd hoped. But I think it was still positive. I think it was still productive. I did actually ease off on shorts as we moved past July into the next month. And that was because of, um, you know, mixed results. But in hindsight, when I look back at the data, which again, I'll talk about later with you guys, it seemed positive. I think we should continue to do it forward. And again, we'll talk about that when we look at our 2024 goals. But we did achieve this. Use some form of software to schedule TikToks and shorts. I didn't actually find uh, what this was, was a goal to be able to upload to YouTube and TikTok simultaneously and kind of cut out a bit of the process of editing, or at least reduce the time taken to upload these to the certain websites. Because right now I upload seven videos on content day to YouTube and then I'll do the seven videos to TikTok. Going through each one, giving them a title, a description, allocating them to a category takes fucking ages. I was looking for a manager of some kind to do all this at once, like upload to a website and then produce it on multiple platforms at once. I think there are websites that do this, but I wasn't actually able to find one that I actually began to use. I found new software for managing and editing shorts for creating the clips and formatting them properly. I'm super pleased that we took the time to investigate that and I feel like it did pay off. We're going to be using that a lot more in, into 2024. Buy a new hard drive and move over existing hard drive to The one I use is very old. I just bought a new hard drive. Easy as guys, I did achieve this. I've got a new hard drive, we've transferred all the important stuff over to it and the old one still exists, but now we've backed everything up and we're happy. 
it's also just gives me more space for installing games, which is great. Set up a cloud-based backup, pay for it annually and set it to auto-upload. As a business, I realistically should have a backup, a cloud software where, again, I can upload important details, important documents, nudes, of course. Just kidding. Emulator save files, our Digimon Christmas save file, important videos that mean a lot to me. I wanted to back them up in case my house ever explodes and uh, that way we can reinforce it and make sure it's okay. Organize a gift and service, set up throwing a wish list. Sometimes in the stream you guys ask me, Jack, is there a way for me to help you out uh, other than giving you a donation, other than gift and subs? Is there a way that I can uh, upgrade your microphone for you or something? It's not a common question, but it does happen from time to time and sometimes people want to support the stream anonymously. I uh, wanted to set this up, but I never actually did it. Same with my affiliate links, which is the next possible goal. Set up a few specific affiliate links. Now, I've looked into this in the past and I actually did make a good go at this a few years ago, setting up. But at the time, it was a bit of a headache and more trouble than it was worth. I am a UK streamer and Amazon and Twitch are both American companies. So sometimes, like, how that works from a tax point of view uh, is probably not as complicated as I'm assuming it is and making it out to be, but I've not quite managed to hone this down yet. Now, I think the problem with these two goals specifically is that I didn't actually give myself a deadline for it. I just kind of said, hey, well, we'll maybe do this, we'll maybe not. And obviously, when you're setting goals, that's probably not the way to go. So we're going to learn from that moving forward with our 2024 goals. But for the time being, we'll pull these through into 2024 and talk about that in a minute. But this one here, it, we did actually achieve automate League Fridays to make the sign up process smoother. We're going to talk about League Fridays in a little minute when we talk about our future goals. But thanks to Ronan, the legend that he is. Now, at the time, it was just a pipe dream to have an easier way of doing this because I was having to manually invite people. Some people were getting missed in the sign ups and then getting sad and they were like, Jack, I'm, yeah, I was supposed to play this game. So I said last year, I was like, hey, it'd be cool if we could get a bit of software or something to potentially um, streamline this. And Ronan, the hero that he is, actually said, well, hey, maybe we could do that. And throughout the year, Ronan has continued to exceed every single expectation I have had for him and the software. He has went out of his way to consistently improve, tweak and enhance it, adding new features almost on a weekly basis. And for that, we will be eternally grateful to him. Now, I've said before, I don't know if we're going to be able to repay Ronan for this. Um, I would certainly like to. If you guys want to come and play in our now League for League Fridays, every Friday on EU West, you can come and find us in the stream on Friday. Thank you, Ronan, for helping us tick this one off. Begin investing and buying some stocks. Very pleased to announce that right at the end of the year, I did actually achieve this. I now have an app where I own uh, a Vanguard S&P 500 EFT account, which is basically an all-managed share account. There's only £100 in it at the moment. Interestingly enough, I did have an affiliate link, which I've shared with you guys in the community, and you guys have actually filled out already. So thanks to you guys, I actually was given six free stocks in NVIDIA, in Nike, I think Meta, which is the Facebook group. I also own Mercedes-Benz and Heineken. So I put £100 into my account and thanks to the six affiliates who have signed up so far, my portfolio is now worth 170 So that's a pretty good gain considering I did no work. And I'll just quickly give a shout out to KK who signed up from my affiliate link and got 50 quid uh, of shares in Apple, which um, 50 quid is not that much, but it's a good start and it's a nice kind of gesture when it's absolutely free. If you guys are interested in this topic, please uh, ask me about it in the comments and we can maybe chat about it later. Save at the bungalow, wait for an opportunity to buy our own place. Mrs. Wolfie and I have been um, trying to pursue this throughout the year and we've been doing okay. Still not quite in a position to buy our, our own home, which is mostly due to me, not Mrs. Wolfie. Mrs. Wolfie does just fine, but uh, the housing market is still terrible. It likely will still be terrible for a little while yet. We'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, the important thing is that me and Mrs. Wolfie are being as sensible as can be with our money. There's a really nice quote. I think it's by Warren Buffett. The everyday man will spend their money and save what they have left over whereas the smart man will save every month and then spend what they have left over we've been trying to pursue this philosophy over the last year and are continuing to stockpile and squirrel away uh, as much money as possible so i'll keep you guys informed on that when we buy a house one day you guys will be the first to know in the meantime we're, we're keeping at it we're keeping on keeping on as they say uh lastly continue my exercise routine working walking and working out from home i've been doing this guys uh, i'm not exactly jacked out of my mind which I think is something I can remember saying briefly last year but I have actually been working out as much as I can not as much as I did last year but I've been doing it two or three times a week just from home whenever I go out walking I've also been listening to audiobooks so this year I've been walking almost every day and as a result I've also probably read about 20 books it was definitely one of the best things that I pursued in 2023 and uh, I'm hoping to move that forward because it's just really good for the mental 
I talk about it all the time on stream, and again, if you guys are interested, hit me up, let me know, we can maybe do a video about it sometime, but yeah, not bad, all in all, guys. The most important thing that I want to quickly touch on, and this is more of a thank you to kind of wrap up this segment of the video, I just want to share with you guys that um, this was the first year I actually now have to, based on my own income from streaming, from YouTube, from merch, from sponsorships, we are actually paying tax for the first time. We made enough money through the year, we were actually hitting my local um, Scottish tax threshold. It's not a lot, you guys can look it up, it's really not that much. There's a, a lot of support there from you guys, and I think about it daily, and uh, I'm grateful. Thank you. Alright guys, so moving on quickly into the next part of the video where we talk about our goals for 2024. 2023, I actually took more time off streaming than I had in a long time. We lost a month of the year in January because of the lack of internet. That was a bummer, but whatever, it happens. And then also in October, November, as I said earlier, I took some time off to make some YouTube content, but also just rest. Now, the reality is in 2022, I'll, show, I'll throw this up on screen for you guys right now. In 2022, I streamed for 1900 hours. In 2023, last year, I actually only streamed for 1400 hours. It's quite a substantial cut of time spent um, doing your job, if you like. Now remember, last year we took some extra days off, a week to do short content, so there's that. But the reality is I took, I spent a lot of time, a lot less time on stream than I did in previous years. And as a result, it's probably a reason why we didn't hit some of our goals to do with followers and things like that. So moving into 2024, we have to address some things. Why was I not streaming as much as I wanted to? Um, why was I slowing down? What was causing that? We, we really have to get into the details. It's not just a case of, oh, I was lazy. The question needs to be, why were you lazy? What was causing that? And a lot of the time it is to do with burnout. It's to do with lack of structure. It's to do with lack of planning. Getting up in the morning and thinking, what do I want to do today? It takes me like two or three hours to get my shit together. And by the time I, I think that I vaguely want to play X game, it's almost too late to go on. So, in 2024, we need to address a few things. I am going to try and get back to streaming four days a week and doing one day of content. I'm going to talk about shorts and YouTube TikToks and all that stuff later, but for the most part, I'm going to try and do four days of streaming with one day of content, and I'm going to try, at least for the first few months of the year, to experiment with taking two days off. Now, as a streamer in my position, a lot of streamers work seven days a week. Um, a lot of people who are self-employed and content creators, they're working all the time anyway. Realistically, I will be working seven days a week, but in terms of being on camera on the stream, I'm going to try and take two days off to actually rest. Now, the aim of that is to try and give me um, more structure, as I said before, and also more rest days, so that when I am streaming, I'm a better version of myself. Now, I know that sounds quite whimsical and airy fairy, but I'm worried that if I try and set an, like a ridiculous goal, if I try and if I say, for example, that we're going to stream seven days a week, I'm worried that I'm going to burn out, and then I end up streaming for two days a week or something like that. So I'm going to try and take more rest days in order to empower the days that we are actually working and just try it. I'm going to trial it like this. I'm going to give it a go and then review. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll re-pivot and come up with something new. If, if we smash this goal, great. But if we don't hit that goal, which I do think is achievable, by the way, I really should be pushing myself in this position. If I'm making a go at this thing, I really have to be honest with myself and put in the effort and make a good go of it so that one day I don't feel regret, which is very possible. And that scares me more than you guys know. A tweet, I achieved Twitch followers. Again, I've put in a number here. Twitch followers don't really matter that much, but in order to do, in order to give myself an actual accurate goal that I can see and, and register, I've put in 300, uh, 3,900. I've also got a quick goal here to improve my Twitter following. Again, I don't use Twitter that often. The reality is, is some people set up a Twitter account and within a week or two, they have thousands of followers, guys. I don't have that skill as a person, and if I do, I haven't learned it yet. I would like to look into this a little bit more. I currently only have 370 followers on Twitter. I am not active on there. I don't post daily. I uh, normally just retweet memes, uh, which is just classic Jack. You might see some weird schedule posts coming out from me as I try and experiment with this. And if he's don't already follow me on Twitter, shoot me a little follow, guys, and, uh, and help me out with that. Organize a gift and setup. This is pulled through from last year. Same with the affiliate link. So five and six here. These are things that I put in last year's list. Specifically, I'd love to set up a throne account because I really don't think that would take me that long and it's something I should do. So streaming more consistently is my number one goal. Um, making content for YouTube is my number one goal. Well, I guess my number two goal this year. Being more active on Twitch. 
and YouTube if we're doing multi-streaming is important. These other goals here, five and six, less so, but still achievable and there's no excuse not to achieve it. Next up, we have to continue investing in stocks. I've got £50 a month, again, as a, a generic number here, but realistically, um, some months I'm going to, going to be able to invest more than that. Some months I'm not going to be able to invest anything. It's something that you should get into consistently. I firmly believe that. But I am very new to it and I'm not going to... I'm not going to go all in on this. I'm just going to pursue it gently, build it gently um, when it makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to try and continue to improve my, my portfolio. And then again, by the end of the year, hopefully I can show you guys the growth, assuming that the market has been sensible and everything's going normal. Finish Trails of Cold Steel. I've given myself until February to do this. We actually only have a few late game bosses to do, but again, it's an RPG, so fuck knows. That could be five hours, could be 10 minutes, it could be fucking 20 years, I don't know. But February, we should have this done and completed. Nothing much to say there. Also, my new green screen and webcam that I've bought, I've given myself until the end of this month, January, to organize that. So I've been postponing this, but realistically, I should be able to uh, achieve this, no problem at all. Let's move on quickly. So, uh, 10, return to post in short start in February. Um, my goal for the year is to uh, post 230 TikToks and shorts to YouTube and TikTok. I don't know if I showed this already, but I'll quickly bring it up, guys. This here in March of 2023, this is when Next Order came out and we posted our guides. They obviously popped off. And then as Next Order kind of, you know, people bought it, played it, moved on with our lives, the traction starts to go back to normal. But this period here, from the end of the Next Order spell into July, I actually was posting shorts daily so this is the spikiness you know some days up down up down short 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 and uh compared to when we don't post shorts the difference isn't that much but it's still a productive improvement and the effort required to produce this although time consuming and slightly tedious at times it is fun to make content and it's something that i love doing sometimes the reality is doing is better than not doing and you can see here when I stopped posting shorts, although there's not a huge difference, guys, there's not a massive difference in viewership here. When we go back to normal, it's still better than not doing it. And uh, assuming it doesn't knock the wind out of me and exhaust me, I think it would be a productive play to get back involved in that. Number 11, finding new utilizer software for scheduling and YouTube and TikTok. This is something we already talked about earlier. It's not something we need to go into, but I would like a way to streamline the uploading part. Number 12, I'd like to move my merch to a new platform before December. Uh, this is not something that's super urgent, but it's something I would like to do. We currently do our merch through stream elements. Sometimes it's great, guys. And in the past, sometimes it's not been great. I'd like to find a website that does it better. You know, there's no reason not to seek the best quality, especially when you guys are involved, especially when you guys are spending money, right? I want to give you guys stuff that I'm proud of that you guys can actually fucking enjoy, right? That's how this transaction should work. So if you guys are content creators, YouTubers, or maybe artists, if you guys have a merch store that you use regularly and have a great experience with, let me know in the comments and share it with me. Uh, create a hub link in all of your YouTube playlists. What I would like to do here, guys, is basically have a little, um, almost like a, a link tree, but for all of our playlists on YouTube. I got a lot of questions sometimes when I'm streaming, people will say, Jack, have you ever played Final Fantasy X? Have you ever played Persona? Have you ever played Digimon World 2? And I will often say, yes, I have a playlist of that on my YouTube channel. But the reality is that finding on YouTube the playlist tab and searching for the playlist, sometimes it's worth it's more, more effort than people can be bothered with. So what I need to do is create a little list of all of our playlists and a little index basically that I can link. So when somebody asks Jack, have you ever played uh, Resident Evil 4? I will say yes. And then in Twitch, I can link them the index. So when they open it, it will be like in alphabetical order, all of the games we've played. And when they click that button to take them to the game that they like, Final Fantasy 7, for example, it will take them to the playlist. Now, I don't know what website to use for this, but there's probably something out there that I can use. I've seen streamers have similar lists, but for other things, like a lot of people do it for social media. If you guys have any ideas of what to use for compiling this, let me know. It will take me some time to organize, but I think this is something I could definitely do. Bulk list potential games. So as I said earlier, guys, when I'm looking for motivation to play games, often what will happen is the days where I have a plan, i.e. we're halfway through a playthrough, I get up, I bounce into the shower, I go out for a walk, I sit down and we start playing it's great the days where i take most time off streaming is often days where i don't have a structure i don't have a plan so in order to improve this and also help filter into our first goal of the year which is to be live more often i am going to create more bulk lists i don't know what i'm going to publicize with these with you guys um, or not in the discord but i would um, like to create more uh, lists of games that i'm actually interested in playing 
that will make sense for the period that we're playing them in that you guys are going to be interested in and most importantly although it sounds a bit um selfish i also need to be interested in playing as well so i'm going to start creating little lists of games uh, so that when i am figuring out what i'm going to play next there's going to be a little backup plan there so yeah nice and easy fix and update monetization of old youtube videos in 2023 youtube updated its policy where the monetization of all of its content across all of its creators updated and you had to sign a, a contract a new contract as a creator if you were monetized on youtube to accept these conditions now what i didn't realize guys and what is absolutely painful is that youtube then went back to all of my old videos and added a bunch of ads to them and i had no idea so all of our series that get, still get traction digimon world 1 digimon world 2 digimon world next order the guides final fantasy 10 youtube had added a bunch of ads to every single one of these videos and i had no idea if you guys have been watching any of these playthroughs recently and you've been watching a 20 minute episode and six ads have rolled in a row that is not me that is youtube i have no idea why they did it or how they got away with it but it happened i am now manually going through these one at a time per episode and changing that for you guys I have now updated most of these, like the first five episodes of all of the important series. I've went into the first five episodes of every series and I've taken all the ads back out. There's still a mid-roll ad in the middle, but you know, one ad per episode is way better than six, eight in my opinion. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go through these manually and update them. I've given myself a month to do each one. And again, I'm focusing mostly on the most important Let's Plays. It's going to take me a long time to make my way through these and update them, but I will endeavor to try. And that's why it's a goal on our list. So. So uh, give me some time, and if you have experienced a lot of ads on any of my old CDs, I apologise, it, it literally wasn't me. <laughs> League Fridays, um, very quickly, League Fridays. So League Friday is a fantastic addition that we've added to our channel in 2023, but it's a double-edged sword. Let's talk about some of the positives of League Friday first of all, right? So on Fridays we play League of Legends with the community, and what that's done is it's uh, given us a lot of cool things. It's first of all given us a bit of structure to our very messy um, scheduling. It often means that people know that that's coming up and can plan for it if they want to take part, or if they're not interested, they know to avoid it, right? Easy. League Fridays has also introduced a lot of new people to the community, which is awesome. I've met a lot of fantastic people, uh, friends bringing along their friends. It allows us to meet people that I wouldn't normally speak to or get a chance to meet just playing the regular variety content that we do on the channel. It's also, uh, it has become probably our most watched regular recurring piece of, uh, like it's one of our most watched streams. It's typically quite popular compared to our other streams and that is awesome. And then lastly, as a result of all that, League Fridays can obviously be quite um, profitable as well from a revenue point. If there's more people watching, typically if people are having a good night, we also get a lot of gifted subs, a lot of Twitch primes. And from, from that point of view, in terms of paying my bills as a creator and surviving, it's great. Only thing is League Fridays can be a, a little bit tough sometimes. When we're playing for eight hours, 10 hours a day, um, many weeks in a row, sometimes um, people can get a little bit fatigued. So what I would like to do moving forward is keep League Fridays, of course. But what I think we'll do is have like maybe three days of the of the month rather than four. And then maybe like the first day of the month or the final day, of the, the final Friday of the month, we'll just uh, take a break. That'll let you guys get a breather. We have a lot of new people coming into League Fridays, new viewers, as we've just discussed. And I always want these people to have a good first impression of what our community is about. Sometimes, uh, given how hyphy things can get, people can let themselves down sometimes and as a result reflect poorly on the community so as well as having maybe three days a week or three days of the month instead of four i think what we'll also do is add a bit of structure to the actual evenings themselves and rather than just have an uncapped number of games we'll have like a like a five game um system where maybe like we do five customs and we'll play our five customs for the day and then after that we'll decide what we want to do I know some people do come in towards the tail end of League Fridays and I'm not trying to isolate those people. So I think what we'll do is if we do have a certain structure of five games in a row or six games in a row each Friday, we'll move the time slot up and down to try and accommodate as many people as we can and we'll find a, a system that works for everybody. So that's all my thoughts on League Fridays. I'm looking forward to developing this uh, in the future and moving forward and uh, and keep improving as best we can so yeah ggs last but not least guys very very boring uh, to finish off the list but maintain my fitness routine here it's not so much a goal just a reminder to keep it going because i spend a lot of time in the computer i spend a lot of time indoors it's nice to actually take care of yourself sometimes and uh, actually give yourselves a bit of air
So, um, yeah, maintain my fitness routine. So, yeah, that's my goals for the year, guys. Keep me in check for the end of 2024, where hopefully I'll be able to see you guys. And uh, the aim is not to complete all of these. If we do complete all of them, fantastic. But the aim is to try and achieve most of them, try and get as many of them in the majority as possible. If you guys have goals for 20, 2024, let me know. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know. If you've made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.